Okay, fourth graders, we are starting our new unit called a new nation. To get us started with this new unit, we're going to learn about the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and what amendments are. So the history about the U.S. Constitution, it was written, written in 1787, so it's over 200 years old, by a group of men that met to fix the way that the new country was going. Now, remember, previously, we were in our own country. We were a part of England, and we had that huge revolution where we broke free of England and we started a new country. So these group of men, they were not happy with that, with the way our country was going and heading. So they decided to fix it by creating that constitution. So the constitution is a new set of laws that everyone has to follow. And those men, that group of men that met in, way back in 1787, we call these men the framers. The framers met in Independence Hall in Philadelphia. And these men, they had lots of ideas and opinions. So they had lots of arguments, but in the end, they decided to compromise because they knew if they didn't compromise and didn't create this set of laws for everyone to follow, that all of that fighting that they were having within the new country would continue. So here's an example of the men those framers in Independence Hall, the start of our constitution and what Independence Hall looked like, looks like. So let's talk about some of those worries about the constitution. Some people didn't like the constitution for different reasons. So they were worried that it didn't do enough to protect the rights of the people, of the citizens. It didn't have a bill or an in other words, for Bill is a list of those rights. It didn't guarantee the basic freedoms and rights to American citizens. Now remember, a citizen is someone who is born in a country. They are part of the country. And they also worry that it didn't put enough limits on the power of the federal, or remember federal means the national government. They were afraid that the federal government would be too powerful. So a promise was made to add a bill of rights, a list of rights. So they decided to add this bill of rights after the constitution was passed. Now, I know you're thinking, what exactly is the bill of rights? So the bill of rights is that first 10 changes to the constitution. These Bill of Rights are super important because it protects all of the rights and safety of citizens. It protects the freedom of religion, speech, assembly, the press, and the right to a fair trial. So basically, freedom of religion means that it lets you believe in God if you want to. No one can tell you that you can't believe. And also with assembly, it lets you gather with your friends to talk and let you be in a group of people and chat. It makes sure that you can read newspapers. So that's that freedom of press that we are able to read information that is printed for us. And it also protects our home and keeps us safe. So an amendment. So the framers knew that when they wrote that document, the Constitution at the time, it wasn't perfect and it could be improved with changes. So they decided that amendments could be added. An amendment means to change something. So that Bill of Rights is that first 10 amendments or the first 10 changes to the document. And today, our US, our Constitution has 27 amendments or 27 in total changes over the past couple hundred years. And these amendments are things that the framers didn't think of at the time. So as you know, our country has changed drastically from the past to now. So the framers couldn't think of everything at the time. So some examples of new amendments that were added. 
So today we use a lot of those amendments, those changes. One of the amendments is that the change that every single person has to the right to vote if they are a citizen. It does not matter what you look like if you are a man or a woman, everybody has the right to vote as long as they are a citizen. And a new amendment is that a president can only serve two terms in office. That means that they can only serve a total of eight years as president. The First Amendment, or also known as the Bill of Rights, was added in 1791. So that first group of changes was added in 1791, a few years after the Constitution passed. And the last amendment, that last change, was added in 1992. It was added, that last change was made about 30 years ago. So that tells us that these changes are one, really hard to make because it takes a lot of people agreeing on something and compromising. And that lots of people have ideas for amendments, but again, to make that change, it takes a lot of compromising and agreements. So as you can see in this timeline, this kind of gives us an idea of how many, when these amendments or changes were made. We had a few in before 1800, we had like three, we had those Bill of Rights and then two more changes. And then after 1800, we had three more changes in the 1900s. That's the years that your parents, were, that's when like your parents were born and I was born, your teachers. Between 1900 and 2000, before you guys were born, we had the biggest number of changes, we added more amendments, more changes to the Constitution to make it what it is today. So your independent work today is going to be to create a chart defining the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the amendments. And we're going to draw a quick sketch to help us remember what those three vocabulary words mean. We can't wait to see your work.